हेलो गाइस Hello, good evening, everyone. Okay, let's wait until everybody comes in. So, okay, let's wait for a few more minutes. So we'll be talking about the dark web today. As I have mentioned, it's the dark side of the internet, and uh, that's what we uh, this webinar is about. Firstly, uh, we'll uh, let me give you a small introduction of myself. So, hello guys. I am, my name is Rahul Pandey. I'm an undergraduate pursuing bachelor's of technology in computer science and engineering, with the urge to know more about everything around us. I am also an ethical hacking and cyber security enthusiast, with keen interest in expanding my knowledge in a way to be well versed. I'm a member and volunteer of popular communities like the Null Community, the Mozilla Community, the Computer Society of India, and also a chapter member of DFCI, uh, that is uh, Data Security Council of India. These are some of my online handles. You can follow me up there on LinkedIn, Instagram, or WhatsApp. And okay, then let's start the webinar. So this is what basically we are going to learn today. Firstly, I'll be talking about what is surface web, what is deep web, what is dark web, and then what is Tor. How do you access the dark web? What is inside the dark web? And is it safe for or unsafe for uh, a basic public or an IT technician? We'll be talking about that. And finally, we'll discuss if the dark web is good or bad. So what basically dark web is? What are they? This is a small image that shows one second ish. So this is an image uh, that basically shows uh, the total internet. So you can say this is the surface web. Now what surface web is? When most of us think about the internet, we imagine day-to-day -day activities like watching a video, checking the news or booking a vacation online. However, under the surface lies a shadowy corner of the web where terrorists, criminals, or whistleblowers lurk. So firstly, of, uh, of first of all, it is important for us to know how, uh, how vast the internet is. And it's constantly growing. And the majority of all, our daily usage only scratches the surface, or I should say the surface web. It is also important to understand pretty much everything you do on the internet is visible, traceable, and possibly being monitored. Everything. Everything is being monitored, whatever you do on the surface web. And I don't need to tell this to you. You very well know Google and many such companies attract, attract things for their own good. And uh, search engines like Google and Yahoo, they only show you 4% of the whole data on the internet. Can you imagine that? Only 4% of the whole internet is what we are browsing on the surface web. Now, uh, this is called surface web, that uh, popular search engines like Google or Yahoo that provide, they provide us with search results, right? This is what we are browsing, that's called surface web. Now, to access the other 96%, 96% that is left over in the internet, uh, it requires customized digging through individual sites sub pages, restricted pages, and journals, archives, and so on. But this 96% is, uh, that's called deep web. In the image you can see the surface web is only about 19 TB in size. 
but when it's compared to the deep web or the deep net, it has over 7,500 TB of data. Uh, this is the surface web that you can see that the Google engine provides us. This is the deep web, and inside the deep web, we have the dark web. Now that comes, what is dark web? Before uh, I talk about dark web, let me tell you what is deep web. The deep web refers to a website, to any website that cannot be readily accessed through any conventional search engine like Google or Yahoo. The reason for this is because the content is not indexed by any search engine in question. Uh, like Google or Yahoo, they only provide you results that is being indexed by someone. But here, this content that is available in the deep web is not indexed by any search engine. So it's not easy to get into there. And usually the deep web contains the internal sites of major companies, associations, and trade organizations, the school, college, university, uh, database, internet systems, password protected websites. Now, what all have in common is that uh, their information is not intended for public consumption. The owners of the content may go to great lengths to render the information inaccessible by the public. And they'll make sure that this uh, doesn't show up in the internet browser search results, right? Now, what is the dark web? Now, dark web is basically, it's a subset of deep web. The deep web uh, is just a part of the web that is not accessible by search engine. You won't, you won't find these websites when you use a search engine like Google or Yahoo, but they are other, otherwise they are a normal website. Now, this dark web is a smaller part of the deep web that cannot be accessed without a special software. Dark web is also known as invisible web, deep web, hidden net, and it refers to uh, content or data that is unindexed or of intentionally hidden. And uh, as I told, it's claimed to account for 96% of the WWW and 4% is the surface web. Usually, uh, there's a lot of anonymity in the dark web. Now, how do you get uh, there? How do you browse uh, this dark web? That's when Tor comes into hand. Tor basically, as we know, the dark web is concealed through a series of identity masking layers, which basically means you can access and interact with anonymously uh, without being tracked. Now, you might think that uh, navigating the dark web is easy. But let me tell you, it's, it's not that easy. The place is as messy and chaotic as you would expect uh, when everyone is anonymous and there are, there are some minority who are there to do scam or something like that. Now, accessing the dark web requires the use of anonymizing the browser, which is the Tor browser. This is a special encryption software which stands for the Onion Router. Uh, the Onion Router, that means Tor, which when installed in your computer appears and acts like your standard Firefox browser, but instead of routing your connection through a direct line, Tor routes everything around a series of encrypted computers all over the world, bouncing around randomly before it reaches out the host destination. You can download Tor, it's free of cost. Sorry, the internet is very slow. You can just Google Tor Browser. It's also available for Android phones. It's also available for Windows and Linux operating system. So you might have a doubt, why, why dark web? Why was this dark web started? Basically, this was started by the US Navy, if I'm not wrong, to uh, encrypt anonymous mail to each other. But this was not possible because if only the Navy was a dark web, everybody knows that they are using it. So they had to make it public. And when it was public, it, it was accessible to like almost everyone. So this is our official website. It's open source. You can download it from here for Windows or Mac operating system, Linux or Android. You can also get the source code of Tor as I told, it's open source. So how basically it all works is it routes your web page request through a series of proxy servers operated by thousands of volunteers around the globe. These volunteers work for Tor. 
rendering the render your ip address untraceable this makes the origin of the data and the people searching for it unknowable so while you might actually be in india your search traffic can appear to be coming from random points all over the world making your location essentially untraceable so you can download tor from here i have already downloaded it let's open tor browser once you install tor you get the desktop icon right here you can open this up sorry the net is very slow So using Tor, we'll be getting into the dark web and we'll see what's inside the dark web. So before starting, I would like to uh, tell some basic things that are available, how legally dark web is used. It's not a bad thing. We can't say dark web as like totally negative. There are many legal users of the dark web. Uh, firstly, it provides anonymity. We know that we don't have freedom on the surface web. We don't have freedom of expressing everything that you know, that you want to tell on the surface web. So the legal users of dark web, uh, it provides anonymity, it provides freedom, mostly police and crime units use dark web for some of their work. It also gives access to additional information like uh, documentaries and books that are not available or that has been deleted. You may find them in the dark web. Websites those that, that are banned in your country, you can also access them or you can know about what's going on in different countries by using a dark web. And every buying and selling things are also done on the dark web. So we have our browser running. the guys there are also e-commerce websites on the dark web that you can use to buy and sell goods we'll be talking about e-commerce later Now, I have talked about many legal issues that goes on in the dark web. But what when you get too much of freedom? As I told before, it's like totally anonymous. Dark web is totally anonymous. Nobody can track you. I'm not saying that like, they can track you, but like 80% of these uh, people are untraceable on the dark web because of Tor browser. Now, what goes on in the dark web when it's like, as we know, we have Amazon, we have eBay on the surface web that basically they are e-commerce sites that works on buying and selling of products. But you, you won't find illegal stuff there because they can be caught up if they sell such things. But a dark web is like totally anonymous. What happens now? This is something like, I, you might be shocked, but this is done in the dark web. It's human trafficking and organ dealing. This thing and many such things are done on the dark web here. Slaves are bought and sold 
human experimentation is done in the dark web organs can be so buy uh, and uh, also sold on the dark web uh, even surgery kits are available on the dark web so door is here this is like basically uh, like your normal web browser human trafficking is uh, mostly goes on on the dark web and uh, there are other illegal stuff that uh, goes on the dark web if you uh, google the dark web on the uh, if you google the dark web you you will have no doubt heard talk of the dark web as a hotbed of criminal activity and yeah it is you can buy credit cards uh, you can buy credit card numbers or manner of drugs guns counterfeit money Holding subscription credentials, magnetic accounts, and software that helps you break into other people's uh, computers. You can buy these accounts or credit card numbers for dirty prices. Believe me, guys, this this is like right now also it it is happening on the dark web. You can hire hackers to hack computers for you. You can buy username and passwords. You can buy Netflix accounts, uh, like unlimited account for. cheap like 6 dollars or 10 dollars not everything is illegal the dark web also has legitimate sites you can join a chess club or a black box for those who don't know what is black box it's a social network described as the facebook of god but uh, most of this dark web has a uh, illegal content in it as i told purchasing illegal items or substances this is uh, like this goes on the dark web millions of dollars of transactions are made uh, you can purchase weapons narcotics credit cards organs you can buy take hackers on rent you can uh, get hitmen if you if you know what hitmen are you can get them you can rent them on the dark web scams are like a leak of sensitive information or scams this goes on the dark web that there are credit card frauds you can buy fake passports and ids all this is done uh, on the dark web even the terrorist activities al qaeda groups these people also have their communication using the dark web and i told as i told hitman services are also available on the dark web and you might not believe this but even child pornography and prostitution is done on the dark web this is one of the biggest problems on the dark web more and more sites are coming up with child pornography and selling them the problem here is that the dark web is uh, that has flourished because it's all thanks to bitcoin the cryptocurrency that enables two parties to make a trusted connection or a transaction without knowing each other so this might be like an anonymous transaction you don't know me i don't know you but we are having a transaction without knowing each other and the dark web has been a big factor in the growth of bitcoin also bitcoin has been a major factor in the growth of dark web now nearly all dark uh, all dark web commerce sites conduct transactions in bitcoin or some variant but that doesn't mean it's safe to do business there of course the anonymity of the place attracts scammers and thieves but what do you expect when you buy when you buying guns or a drugs from your objective <laughs> but the question comes is the dark web safe so there are two sides for this yes of course it's safe because it's masking your ip address it's totally encrypted 
and when you are using the Tor browser, there are so much of safety precautions for educational purposes like PDFs, books, a lot of things that might be useful for you. But also on the other hand, it's not safe because however updated you are, every software has some vulnerabilities that can be exploited. And on the dark web. It has two sides and it's not safe. Also, it's safe. Let's see if this works now. So DuckDuckGo is also a search engine. It's also available on the surface web. Why I use DuckDuckGo is because it doesn't save or our browser. As we know, it uses triple layer of encryption and decryption. So the internet is going to be quite slow when you're browsing in the Tor browser as compared to other browsers. So the hidden wiki, uh, I have first this uh, because the hidden wiki is like, uh, so we have Wikipedia on the surface web. The hidden wiki is uh, same as Wikipedia, but in the dark web. Usually you might, you will find everything here. So I will search for a link in Reddit. I would suggest if you guys want to browse the dark web, the the web links are like very difficult to remember. You'll know that in a few minutes. And they usually keep changing the websites, the onion links uh, keep changing. So you know, that's what is onion. Uh, any website that is on the dark web, it has an extension of dot onion. Like we have dot com dot in in the surface web. To access these sites, we have onion links. They are called onion links. So these only links keep changing. Uh, they keep changing most of the time because uh, to hide or to be anonymous, to be encrypted, they keep changing and it's hard to remember them. So most of them people keep it, keep it updated on Reddit. So if you guys want active links, if you guys want, here are some of those links. See if that works. guys can see this works very slow and I would suggest you guys not to buy or have any transaction on the dark web because it's like not totally safe to go there and buy something because there's a guarantee that the product that you're buying will be arriving sometimes most of them are there are scammers who 
take uh, do a transaction take money from you and they do not deliver your product plus uh, usually things come uh, with international shipping so that's not possible if whatever you are ordering that might come to you or not because there there are strict checking on airports so it's not safe to buy something from there very slow let's see if one of those links work you might find many links here you can try one of those if they are working and everything that you require in the dark web you can get it from here okay i guess this side is up this is of 2017 this not this is not updated but let's check if this works let's go on to so alpha bay alpha bay is a, a market where you can buy guns and drugs it's a very popular market in uh, the dark web and basically like eBay of the dark web. You can see here the links that they have provided. Uh, this is for the new era of intelligence. This is the alpha bird market. This is the drug forum. Let's check if this works. Hire a hacker for every job you can imagine. Let's check this. So there are a bunch of websites. This one has opened up. So see what all services they are providing here coming on the financial services is a bitcoin wallet sell your bitcoins with cash high quality euro bills with pickers high quality us dollar counterfeit anonymous bitcoin wallets services that they are ordering store shops hosting us citizenship real us password you can rent a hacker from here for all this stuff the hitman network group of contract killers in the us canada and europe you can find original uk passports high quality us fake driving license i told most of things here are illegal you might find almost everything illegal but uh, believe me there are much better stuff here most of the sites are up let's check i don't know what this is let's check it Let's find some other ones. Let's see if this works. So going back, you can find drugs on the dark web, smokeables, cannabis, they do pit pharma, brain magic. All kinds of drugs are available on the dark web. All you have to do is make a payment, and you'll get that delivered. I don't know how this. all this works but it's a huge chain that's working on this talking about physical goods you can get factory unlocked iPhones and other smartphones you can buy guns and ammunition from the UK for bitcoin you can buy cheap apple products for bitcoin so in exchange of bitcoin they're going to provide you cheap apple products european arms dealer eurogans
let's not talk about this. And these are another another links. Let's check if hidden wiki works. You'll find bunch of websites. Some of them may work and some of them may not because mostly these uh, they change their IDs. Coming to hacking, you can see. As I told, there are uh, many forums for educational purpose. So Hackbaby is a forum for hacking, carding, cracking, programming, anti forensics, and other tech topics. It includes marketplace for escrow. So those ethical hacking enthusiasts can come here and learn a lot of things. So coming to Carter's forum, they have their own Ministry of Fraud and Affairs. You can find books. These are some websites that provide you most of the books that's not available on the surface web or it's paid. You can get them free of cost. These are some forums. As you saw, the website was redirected. I guess they have changed the link. And this is the link of the website. So as I told, it's like very hard to remember. It's not an alphabetic name, but that might not be easy to remember. Let's clear all this. Going on Rent a Hacker. So this is a website. It also has similar name. That's not like very easy to remember. And they keep changing, so it's better to bookmark them. He says it's experienced hacker offering his services. Hacking and social engineering is my business since I was 15 years old. Never had a real job, so I had the time to get really good at hacking and make a good amount of money in the last 20 years. So he has talked about his prices, his technical skill, his web HTML, PHP, SQL, Apache Master. He knows C, C++, Assembler, Delphi. He has also worked on zero to exploits, highly personalized Trojans, bots, videos, spear phishing attacks, basically anything a hacker needs to be successful. If I don't know it, I learn it very fast. So that shows he's expert in hacking. He has good social engineering skills, as he mentioned. If I can't hack something technically, I'll make phone calls or write emails to the target to get the needed information. I have had people make things you wouldn't believe really often. Let's see what he can do. I'll do anything for money, not a whatever. If you want me to destroy some business or a person's life, I'll do it. Some examples, simply hacking something technically or causing a lot of technical trouble on websites, network. He's talking about shutting down the websites or simply hacking Facebook or Instagram accounts. Economic espionage, getting private information from someone, ruining your op opponent's business or private persons you don't like. I can ruin them financially or get them arrested, whatever you like. If you want someone to get known as so this is his price for whatever job you want. Small job, for example, email and Facebook hacking, he's taking 0 0.027 Bitcoins. That is 25, 250 euros, 500 euros for medium jobs. For large job, he takes 900 euros. If you want to have a chat with him for urgent cases, he takes 200 euros. So you can see that's how you can rent a hacker here and he's ready to do anything for money. Now, one more thing I would like to say, most of uh, such websites are scams or phishing websites where if you'd make a payment, uh, they gonna not reply you back or they'll just shut down the website. Firstly, don't go on such websites for any such stuff. Let me tell you, this is very legal. Sometimes there are uh, police units, cyber crime departments who are sitting there to catch you if you are getting into such stuff. So don't order or don't even talk to them, that's much better. But even if you're going, make sure it's not a scam uh, website. Now getting into the hidden wiki, 
as i told the hidden wiki is like the wikipedia of the surface web the hidden wiki is the wikipedia of the dark web so what are the contents here so you can also be a volunteer at the hidden wiki if you want to these are the tasks that you need to do some introduction point amia.fi it's a search engine for tor hidden services that the go as i told it searches the clearnet or the surface web these are some of the torch uh, tor links this is the hidden wiki not evil is also a search engine now what are the financial services that they are providing you will get all kinds of links here the papers and paypal accounts with good balances buy some and fix your final situation for a while let's check this guys so they are providing a uh, paypal accounts with amount of money good balance and they'll be selling it for cheap premium cards financial oss net all the dream viewers hidden wallet paypal bazaar even the bitcoins are on sale here prepaid cards pp and money vaults as you can see most of them are available for sale so this is the papers and website they say welcome to the greatest place on tor so this site is active as it, it was updated on 19th of this month 2019 that says new accounts has arrived today feel free to look this is the board let's check out what they having so <laughs> so this is these are the uids these are the balance in their paypal accounts 1.911 US dollars, 672 US dollars, 780 US dollars. So these are the balance that they have in their accounts, and these are the prices that they are offering: 200 dollars, 77 dollars, 80 dollars, 206 dollars. Like they are dirt cheap, and they have huge amount of list for selling. these are paypal accounts let's check something more this is for the cash cards you can see paypal accounts paypal visa clone cards let's check visa so there's a sale out here <laughs> so they are selling one visa prepaid card which has a total balance of Three thousand one hundred dollars for ninety-five dollars. Can you believe that? As I told that uh, transactions that goes on here that goes with Bitcoin and Bitcoin is like we make a transaction and I don't know who the opposite guy is and the opposite guy doesn't know who I am. It's like totally anonymous. And because of this, uh, people are encrypted and like unknowable and traceable. So this guy is selling three cards which has a total balance of $9,300 for just $195. This was the PayPal account. Let's see what else they have. Gun dark market. They say gun markets to buy guns, pull out assault rifles, pistols, grenade launchers, etc. and so on. can also buy golds and diamonds let's check for apple products they also have fixed football games info high quality usa fake driving license well, say on a simple note we can say the uh, 
like uh, the, the world is going on the internet for better production better promotion and to make the business better even these illegal people have gone out there on the internet for a better promotion better good business you can find samsung tablet smartphones they are selling apple products or bitcoins they are also selling amazon cards so the black market gun bmg they have gave, given their web uh, web address they have also gave their email so let me tell you this is a secured email not like our gmail so these are the ammunition guns they are selling it for so this one is a cz p07 duty 9 mm 15 rounds magazine uh, which which will cost you around 475 dollars that's all that's all you got for a gun and not just a pistol they have rifles too you can see that all kinds of guns and bullets ammunition is being sold on the dark web that to for the cheap prices also please enter the amount you wish to purchase below and fill in the form so you can also tell them your desired amount if you're not satisfied okay so this side is not working i guess this is about this website sells us fake driving license license you can see the product delaware elion in south carolina new jersey and the price is all for 200 us dollars so basically you can see everything is available and it's not very easy to get out, get into there but make sure most of them are scam websites once you get a legitimate one you can see most of them are like totally open once you install the tor browser you can search the hidden wiki or such a website the hidden wiki is like uncensored one and it's most popular so that's the one i open and there you can find all kinds of services that the dark web uh, is with this some issue with this website upcoming your domain services anonymity and security they have fake id generators browser info so you can check if you're anonymous if you can be trackable or not you can find blog essays on the keys here this is kind of educational that you might not find on the surface web or some of them are paid so you can get them from here these are some email messaging websites that mail pro that the guy was using it's complete mail service that allows you to send and receive mails without violating our privacy your privacy sorry so that's going to be totally anonymous coming on to social networks you have connect you have galaxy 3 and the most popular is the facebook the real facebook's onion domain claim not to keep logs trust them at your peril So yeah, Facebook uh, is the first website that has made its uh, link for the dark web. I don't know what was the reason behind it, but Facebook is also available on the dark web as well as the surface web. And there are a lot of other services that uh, that is being offered here. Hosting is done, website developing is done, audio, video, uh, audio, video, books are available. coming to drugs you can see as i told this thing like goes so much on the web so 
So he's asking for login. Okay, let's check another website. There are a bunch of websites that offer you drugs that are on sale. This one was asking for, this is for the ammunition one and this is, guys, beautiful triple A PK caved in crystal, nice color, distinctly purple, close print, fluffy fat buff, punch and push aroma and flavor. You can see the product, you can see the price and the quantity you want. All you have to do is buy now and pay them with bitcoins and they're going to deliver this product at wherever uh, you leave. I don't know what they are. Any drug drug addicts might be knowing this. This is another website that uh, that is offering one one ounce of OG Kush for two hundred dollars. That is zero point zero one nine bitcoins. He's also offering drugs for different prices. So there are a bunch of websites that is available and active on the internet to buy you things like drugs. As you can see, there are so many websites offering. He's asking for a login. See that. Let's not talk about this. This is something that is uncategorized. It's information and photos of the steam tunnels and roofs at the Illinois Institute of Technology. I don't know what they mean, but let's skip that part. And these are, are different pages, different online websites for it, uh, different countries. So this is something for German, this is something for French, this is in Italian, this is in Japanese, different languages. I, uh, the pages are converted in their own languages for better understanding, Russian, Spanish, Portuguese, Swedish. P2P file sharing also is there here. You would have heard about the Pirate Bay. So this is all about the hidden wiki. Bitcoin seeding is also done here. They have provided us the onion websites. So you can see almost, uh, I guess, 80% of what the dark web is illegal. All you can find is illegal activities going on there, like uh, getting out stolen subscription credentials, hack Netflix accounts, Softwares that helps you break into other people. You can hire hackers. You have hitmans to uh, hire. There are a bunch of things you can and you can buy these accounts and credit card numbers for dirt cheap prices. I have already shown you. It's like very cheap. You can also hire hack hackers to attack them. And almost everything is available here. You can see the content. They have almost everything available. You also have a guide on how to stay safe on the dark web. Now there's one more thing that comes up that is it legal to access the dark web? So let me tell you, it's legal as well as illegal. It's legal when you're accessing the dark web, you're browsing the dark web, but you're not making any transaction with some illegal parties until you are say until you're doing a safe uh, work there you are it's legal but when you're making a transaction or buying such illegal stuff from the dark web of course it's illegal
there are many hacker forums also on the dark web as i showed you one of them where you can get discussions or know about what's going on in the hacker community in the underground hacker community so one more thing you might know uh, how these people you might have a question that how these people get these details so mostly this is done in a offline way in many countries of course in india too where the credit card details or credentials they are stolen by phishing websites or phishing emails that you get on gmail uh, such websites or such emails or some social engineer tricks make them and they take your credentials now how do they sell that that's where the dark web comes in hand uh, they come here and they sell all these details for dirt cheap prices and they are completely anonymous so you can't track who is the one behind selling this uh, details so that is something uh, they are like very safe in selling and it's better we don't get into this for buying such thing I, and you can see there are paypal accounts there's like almost everything available here so that's something you need to take care of it's better not to get into such websites for a transaction So this is all that's available on the dark web. They also have recommendations open for you. If you have any website that you need to add in the hidden wiki, you can click here and propose it to the hidden wiki. That's how they add new things. So deep dot web is like a news channel on the dark web. that's going to give you news about the dark net the drug and privacy related news go beyond it's a blog about politics potatoes and technologies check it out as you can guess as you guys can see the top deep dot web official hidden service that has been seized by the fbi as a part of an fbi operation concerning the violation of 18 usc and in coordination with european law enforcement uh, acting through europol in accordance with law of european member states so this uh, this website has been seized by the fbi as i told the legal Uh, legal things that goes on there are some cyber crime departments like fbi uh, they are also browsing the dark web to find such websites or find who's behind uh, running these websites this is one such website that has been seized by the fbi where to work so as i told mostly these websites get redirected to some other link and they, that's where you can access them even if they are these the fbis is smart and so are the other people go beyond this uh, they have political news about everything bitcoin mixing exposure from shooting they have different blogs that you can read the deep dot web as we know these are the mail like we have gmail yahoo mail and surface web we have the tor tor box elude mail to tor stack mail proton mail of course so proton mail is one such mail that even available on the surface web it's an encrypted mail service which is free as well as paid let's check out facebook So uh, I was talking about the hacker forums. This is one such forum, which was like very popular some times ago, and the one running the forum was jailed by the FBI. That is the Hell Forum. 
the hackers help for them let's see if that works because there was a news that it's uh, back or it's being reloaded let's check if that works i don't know what that is let's check if that's not visible okay dfh hope this one is correct i don't know what this is Fine, let's skip this website. I don't know, there is some issue. This one is not working. This is uh, the Facebook and the dark web. You can see it's verified by DigiSet. And uh, if you guys talk about how Tor works, you can see the Tor circuit here. This is the browser. Then my IP address comes from United Kingdom, then Germany, then Caesar Republic, relay, 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 and then it reaches Facebook. And you can change the circuit whenever you want. I don't want one to change right now. So this is Facebook. See the website link. It's Facebook called www.i.onion. That's not a .com site. It's a .onion site, but it's a legit site by Facebook. I don't know why they have kept this in the dark web. But I guess they want everyone in the world to use Facebook. I don't know the reasons behind it. So something that's like very dangerous or not good on the dark web that I, I found was the guns, the fake IDs, passports, gun market, the drug market, child pornography going on, PayPal accounts and hackers and hitmen. And believe me, guys, this is going on. This is there are transactions that is going on on these websites, and these websites are earning a lot. So this is not something fake. This is actually going on. All such kind of stuff uh, you can find here. So it's kind of slow here, as I told uh, before. So such thing usually goes on the dark web. Most probably uh, people who require such stuff or who are like techies going on in need of uh, cheap products, they use the dark web. Now, if you Google news on the dark web, you might find most of people were caught. Okay, so Google has some issues. Let's prove I'm not a robot. So uh, you have seen most of, one sec, Google needs a verification. I guess there are no more bicycles in here. Let's verify. So uh, you would have seen most of the criminal activities going on the dark web. And yeah, it is, of course. Uh, we have already seen that in the dark web. All, all we found in the hidden wiki was criminal activities going on for Bitcoins. One sec, guys. And these things are untraceable. You're kind of anonymous here. and. Uh, and nobody can track you. Even the transactions that you do is are done using bitcoins. So, so even that is anonymous and encrypted. 
and most of the things you can buy on the dark web for dirt cheap prices i don't know who does these transactions but they are being used these websites are uh, hugely used i don't know how much verification this needs okay it's done yeah but not everything is illegal the dark web also has has a legitimate site uh, you can join facebook as i told there is black book and chess club so this is a website that shows you latest news on dark web let's check what they have this says the german police shut down one of world's biggest dark websites so somehow they are getting into these websites and they are trying harder to shut down such websites so it's not like totally safe to be you cannot be totally anonymous every software has some vulnerabilities that can be exploited and so does the tor browser has so it's better i would suggest not going on such websites to buy anything that might be an apple iphone or any other product it's not safe for you to get in there and there are many such newses in india to uh, that uh, people who were selling drugs or buying or selling drugs were caught out uh, by the police in india of course so this goes on and you need to be safe when you're browsing the dark web and it's better only to access the legal parts of the dark web and not the illegal parts like buying of such stuff you might not believe but there are organs that is being sold on the dark web body organs humans are sold on the dark web that's like very shocking but that's true and that's being sold this is kind of slow so uh, you can see there are many news about the dark web where the marketplaces were shut down by different police communities you can find more such news so we have almost checked everything here let's see if there's something left out the darknet designs are also available for sale here it's like the amazon of the surface web where you can find everything to buy and there are a bunch of sites offering such services and minority of them also are uh, scams so every time i suggest the same thing not to get into such websites okay this is done so they say the millions of voting records appear for sale on the dark web that's how it works facebook accounts appear for sale on dark web retired gp cleared of trying to hire hype man to kill financial advisor so i told this is like these websites are active and people are hiring or buying stuff from there dead people's medical records are sale on the dark web this is like very shocking this is very shocking guys british men posted deadly fentanyl around the world to dark web buyers so 
this is someone who was caught, a man who posted deadly drug around the world from Welsh flat jail. Teenager jailed for buying dark web explosive to kill his parents. Guys. Four university students are jailed for selling drugs on dark web. So this is something like, as I told, if you have a browser, such a special browser like Tor, you can access the dark web. And that's what people are doing to learn, to get something or to earn easy money. They go on the dark web. Like these students, they are selling drugs on the dark web. This guy is buying explosives to kill his parents. I don't know what issues he's having. But this is, uh, this is what goes on. And it's not like you're very safe when you're buying or selling stuff from the dark web. Sometimes uh, you might get exploited. You might uh, get into hands of police or FBI or such uh, cyber departments that might catch you and you might make jail for lifetime. Images show dark web adword to sell clothes ailing as sex slave. Can you imagine that? Model kidnapping, these things. There are many such things that goes on on the dark web. Humans are sold. You can see criminal gang allegedly tried to auction her as a sex slave on the dark web for 230,000 euros. She's a model, Chloe Ailing. Can you imagine that, guys? Seriously. So, Alpha Bay, as I told, Alpha Bay is a market like eBay on the dark web, which they say is being seized by the FBI. It goes offline. That might be offline. I didn't check it. The students turning to the dark web for the drug fix. Child sex abuse, crimes going unpunished in Malaysia. This is like all these illegal activities. 90, 80 to 90% of illegal activities goes on the dark web. And people are actively taking part in this. I don't know why, but you know, this is going on. That's why they say the dark net is something that at uh, the dark side of the internet. So this was about the browser, Tor browser. Let's close this. So we were about is the dark web safe? We have uh, we have seen this, of course, or we have already seen this. That one sec. So we have seen that if it is safe, if you are safe, it's not safe you're, if you are not safe. That depends on you, how you browse the dark web for your own good. These are the activities that we have seen, purchasing illegal substances, scams going on, PayPal accounts, Netflix accounts, credit cards, fake passport, license, hitman. These are available on the dark web. Hitman services are available. And uh, child pornography, of course. We didn't get into this. I hope you guys understand. So is it safe or not? So we have also already discussed this. If you are on the legit side, you are safe. You are not safe if you are providing your personal information on any website, providing your IP address, or making purchases from these websites. That might get uh, make you get you into trouble, so it's better not to get into them. Where do we go, go from here? This is kind of should we access the dark web or not? So that's on you. There are two roads. Everything has a good side and a bad side. So that depends on you. Which way do you want to go? That's on the good side or the bad side. Usually, it's good when journalists uh, journalists get into the dark web to know about what uh, what political things are going on in other countries in such ways it's like legal and helpful for people but uh, and also for encrypted anonymous uh, communication the police or the cyber departments also use uh, this uh, dark web but it's to it totally depends on you how you use it how you use the dark web if you if you're on the legit side it's very much useful and if you're on the illegal side that might uh, make you end up in jail uh, and it's not a good idea to go on illegal stuff no matter whatever your reasons are it's better to be on the legit side so that was dark web i won't 
of course there is a lot of criminal activity going on in the dark web but i won't consider it as totally illegal or totally negative dark web is something that is also useful because it it provides us freedom freedom to express ourselves uh, being completely anonymous which is not possible on the surface web so this way it's like it's nice uh, it's good but uh, as i told when too much freedom is given things become illegal and that's what is going on in the dark web so it's on us how we uh, deal with it so that's all guys that's all i'm covering today in the topic you might have some questions i'm not able to see one of those questions so we never knew uh, uh, the websites on the surface the black like amazon or uh, ebay we might find all the legit products that are being sold and i always thought that uh yeah things on illegal things are not on the internet but what actually was going on uh, was uh, these things were going on in the dark web that is like the deepest of the internet the deepest of whole internet so somehow like everybody is everybody is smart out there if people are coming on the dark web to make business make good business make good money easy money and that what the illegal people out there are doing on the uh, dark web and deep web uh, basically uh, the difference there might be a doubt that what is uh, the difference between deep web and dark web so the deep web refers to any website that cannot be readily accessed through any conventional search like google or yahoo so the reason for this because the content has not been indexed it's not indexed uh, the content that is available in a deep web is unindexed and basically it has encrypted database password protected database uh, such stuff is available in the deep web which uh, people don't want a uh, normal public to access it should be inaccessible that's what they want or it should not show up in the internet search and a dark web basically is a subset of deep web it's a small part of the deep web where uh such uh, it is also not accessible of course by the search engines as it is a part of a uh, deep web but uh, this is something that most of the criminal activity goes on here most of the like 90% of dark web has such stuff in, in there okay so i guess everything is covered talking about good or bad in the dark web as i told there are two ways it's your wish which road do you have to take to get in there if it's the good side it's good for me and you it's good for everyone if you're going on the bad side of course you might end up with negative results so that's all we have for the dark web topic i'll now end end up the webinar so that's all we are done with the topic and i suggest you guys not uh, if you okay if you are accessing the dark web fine you can install the tor, tor browser and you can check out the dark web but i would suggest not to get into such type make any transaction or make a communication uh, with such hackers or hitmen because most probably most of them are setting up phishing websites to get your personal information that they might sell on the on the dark web so stay safe it's better and don't provide your personal information like credit card details or any account details not even your ip address or your any link of your identity on the surface web that's how you can do it and stay safe i would suggest not to access dark web for those who are beginners or who don't know about this but uh, it's all your and please use it for educational purpose and not for 
purchasing that stuff that we have seen here because it's like totally illegal and you might get caught and end up in jail that might not be good okay so thank you